Hello, I'm Mathieu from Ludovox and today I am going to give you an overview of Android Mainframe in probably less than 5 minutes. So it is an area control game for 2-4 to four players, it plays with people aged 12 and up and or 14 and up and uh, for an average game length of 30 minutes. So Android Mainframe uh, sets us as um, pirates, runners. And we all receive an anonymous tip that tells us that mm, the protections of the servers of the transatlantic bank are going down. And we might want to get the data that there, that's there because, because we're hackers and because there's a lot of money involved. It's a bank. So we're going to try to control the servers of the bank, which are this blackboard. So um, how do we control the servers? We create areas, we close our areas with the barriers that uh, we, you can see here. So I've closed an area but you start with a virgin uh, blank board and uh, when you uh, put an access point in it uh, and that you close, uh, for example if I had an access point and if I close this, this area is closed, there, there is only one faction in it, me, blue, so I can safely store it and this isn't touchable for the rest of the game and it will score points according to the size of uh, the um, the area that I scored plus the number well times the number of access points that I have so for example here I would have four points because there and there are four squares if I do this because for example I had two access points I close it and then I score eight points because um, I have two access points, so it's two times four, so eight. To place access points and barriers, there is a very simple set of actions that we can do. So I get one action per turn and I have three choices of actions. The first thing is execute a program from the, the, the generic suite. So um, I have this, um, this suite of programs that I can use. So for example, if I use block, I can put this, um, well, I have to put this somewhere on the board so I can rearrange uh, the card wh wherever I, ch I choose and place the barriers according to this. Then I discard the program, replace it with another, another, and that's it. My turn is done. The second thing that I can do is I can place an access point on the board, on a free area of the board. So to do so, what I do is discard the first program of the stack and then place an access point somewhere. And that's it. That's done. The third option that I have is use one of my programs. So every runner, every player is going to, uh, to embody a specific hacker with specific powers. So we get five cards and three of them are dealt to each player. So for example, noise is very aggressive, is going to uh, remove barriers or uh, access points from other players. Um, um, Kate here is going to disrupt other people's play, while Chaos Theory here uh, is going to um, uh, play with access points, placing more than one at the same time, moving uh, hers and the others' access points. We have six runners in total, so you can uh, have some replay value uh, in it. And the game ends when no player can play or when the stack ends. When the stack is empty, well, that's the end of the game. You count the points and the one with the most is the winner. Well, you know almost everything about Android Mainframe, so now go ahead and play. Bye!